Now, one of my favourites now, regular at one time on BBC London, he beat Audley Harrison and Matt Skeldon and was the winner of the first ever prize fighter back in 1724. He's back in the news now because on April the 14th, he fights Tyson Fury in Belfast. It's a delight to welcome back in from boxing, it's cold as they say in spy novels, Big Marty Rogan, the rogie, the entertainer. Marty, how are you, son? Hello, Steve. How you doing? Thank I'm... you for having me. Nah, listen, it's a delight. I was going to try and get you on a bit earlier once the fight was sort of first announced, but I thought I'd let the press conference, the singing press conference, get underway. What was all that about, Martin? The singing and joke telling at the press conference? <laughs> that was just a natural me, Steve. That's just the way I am. You the know, entertainer. And, you know, and for a play to Tyson Fury, he joined in with it. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, a bit of fun and games. Obviously, it's not going to be fun and games on the 14th of April, but, you know, this is all about um, a sporting contest and it's about getting in to see who goes forward and who wins the fight and, you know, it's obviously not going to be one at a press conference, so... Of course not. Um, it was nice to do that, you know, it was it was good for the crowd, it was good for the people, and it was obviously good off the back of um, the previous other. things that had happened the yep. weeks prior yep. to that, you know. Absolutely, the other rubbish. Now, Martin, there's been a couple of breaks, you know, in your career over the last sort of two or three years. Um, you know, the, the injuries, and then you haven't fought for just over a year. How is your body at the moment, Martin? Absolutely brilliant. It's never, to be honest, now, it's never been better. Don't Absolutely, be- never been better. I've never been in better shape, and I'm just totally looking forward to this, and I'm focused on the 14th. And it's especially, you know, being in Belfast again, which is absolutely fantastic again. And, 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 and when, you, when you look at um, Tyson Fury, when you look, see him in person, and you and you watch tapes. Um, are, are you impressed, or do you think he's maybe a work, uh, still a work in progress, and a work well, that maybe is jumping too far, mixing with you? Well, to, to give him respect, he is where he is. Um, you know, you can't take that away from him. He, he's come through a few fights, you know, a few question marks lay over the top of him. Yeah, and he's come through them, and with with uh, fireworks at the end. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know, it's not for me to to, to disrespect anything he's doing. I'm not going to. Not of course not. And I'm, I'm obviously, I don't watch, I don't really watch the tape, Steve, you know, to be quite honest. That's, there's no not, point me paying my trainers for me to watch and that, that they was watching. Yeah, it's not one of the, not one of the things you yeah. do. Now, M- Martin, what happened? I mean, can you fill us in? Tell us what happened. Why didn't you fight Tyson whenever it was, last year or the year before? Because I thought the fight was made, then it fell out of bed. What can you say and what can't you say? Well, I can say anything I want, basically, but the, 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 truth, the truth of the matter is, Steve, there's always one side. There's one side of the story, there's the other side, and then it's the truth. Well, I have the other side of the story, and I have the truth. The truth, the truth is, um, I was asked to fight Tyson Fury. Respectfully, I was also asked to go over um, in case he didn't fight, in case Derek just sort of pulled out, which cool. I did. Um You know, I jumped on a plane the, the day before and flew over without no training. This, so, is, this is last summer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was no chance of me not fighting him. Of course. Um, the situation that, that occurred in, in Belfast was a very simple fact that me being manager of myself, I mean, obviously people have to speak to me for, in order for a deal to be struck. With you? Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But un- unfortunately, nobody wanted to speak to me. So, uh, so it's done for, it was, a, sec- done for it a second party. <clears throat> So that fight was done through a second party. But as you say, you know, whenever it was, you jumped on a plane. Excuse me, Martin. <clears throat> yeah, as you say, you, ju- you jumped on a plane and, and you went over to um, you went over to Belfast, no problem. So you went, you went, went out, came to London, uh, you yep. know, a couple of days' notice in case um, in case of Derek Del Boy Chisora fight uh, fell, out, fell out of bed. Okay, well, the, yep. good, the good news is you say your body's, the body's in great shape. You're in better spirits than you've been for a long yep. time. And it's at the Odyssey on the 14th of April, and I'll be honest with you, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And the good thing is also, Steve, that, you know, the, 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 the simple fact that it's came around again, Tyson Fury, uh, Tyson himself said a few times that the boat had left and I wasn't on it. It looks as if the boat never left the docks in Belfast. It's yeah. still sitting there and it's actually waiting on the 14th for him to get on it and he can <laughs> sail, he can sail on over because I've I've actually got it on autopilot to take him back. <laughs> but, uh, the simple fact is, I'm just to be honest, and I think all boxers that's going to be listening to this will be saying the same. It's great to get an opportunity and it's great that I've got this opportunity to fight the world number six. Yeah, I'm not cool. going to go in there um, thinking that it's going to be a rollover. And I hope he doesn't think the same thing because it's going to be far, far from that. He's, he's got his work cut out for him. No, I, um, I, 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 and to be, to be honest, um, you know, every boxer in the world would love an opportunity to fight, no matter who it is. And thankfully, it came along at a station fury and 
They've accepted it and we're doing it. And the good thing is the boxing fans wanted to see it and I wanted it and Tyson Fury wanted it and it's on. Yeah, the good thing is exciting and it's on. It's going to be one of the best fights, probably one of the biggest fights ever to take place in the, over here on this soil. And I'm looking really, really much forward to it. I don't want to say good luck to young Carl Frampton on Saturday yeah, we'll, night. We'll like break this, boys. yeah. All the rest of the fighters out there, what are we saying? It's all the best. And one thing that I will say, Steve, Go on. don't underestimate the big rogue. No, listen, no because one, no one should. I've been underdog and I came through yeah. and I'm going to come through again. No, oh, listen, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure talking to you, the big rogue. Martin Rogan there who fights Thank Tyson Fury. Much. My pleasure, Martin. I really mean that. I'll speak to you soon. I'll be over on the 14th. Martin Rogan there who fights... Um, Tyson Fury on April the 14th at the Odyssey in Belfast. Now, if you're thinking of making a trip, it's lovely in Belfast in April. It's a lovely city, Belfast. one of my favourites. It's the best fight city in the world, period. Yeah, I said that. I'm not drunk. It's the best fight city in the world. There's no other city anywhere in the world. Forget Vegas. Vegas is not a fight city. It has enormous fights. And the people that fill the arenas, mostly in Vegas, have no idea who's fighting. It's that Manny guy or Floyd, what's his name? Trust me, in Belfast, it's a city of boxing connoisseurs. It's a city of people with opinions, and they're all good opinions. city where being an 11-year-old schoolboy champion carries weight. It means something inside the community. Liverpool's a bit like that. Um, but Belfast, nothing trumps Belfast. It's absolutely great. I love it. I absolutely adore, adore the place. And I've been going there for well for for too many years. I think think I first went there to do a piece on someone in about 1987 or 88. It was a very different city then. Still liked it, though. This week.